Ah, oh. welcome to yet another hike. We are, as you know in the title, climbing up Mount Independence. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Hold on, we're in an icy spot. Okay, another beautiful day. Want to definitely get hiking today because in the next couple days here, look at that view. Awesome. We're just getting started with this one. Overall, this hike's pretty short. I think it's only a little over two miles. Uh, decent little elevation gain, like 700 feet. So it's a decent little climb. Uh, so the beginning of this hike's a loop, as I shown like right off the bat. And then it turns into an out and back. So overall, this hike is not too bad. Um, it's just a really nice, pretty hike so far. Um, I think you just go up to the top of the mountain, kind of get a cool overlook, and then you come back, and then, uh, it's an out and back for half, and I think the other half's like a loop. So the first half is going to be like that loop, and then you come back, I don't know how long that out and back portion is, it's probably half and half, um, and you come back and do the second half loop on the way back to the parking lot. And so far, so oh, look at that. You saw a better view than I did, just looking out this way. <laughs> This is what I was looking at. Still cool, but I mean, that's better. That's prettier. But yeah, we're about to get hit by like three or four days of snow here. Yeah, we're about at like 55, 60 degrees today. And then tomorrow we're going to be like negative one right around there. Uh, so I'm just trying to get out and get a couple hikes in today before it kind of gets crappy again. And um, it can't do it for a little bit. So here we are. It's a bit of a trip to get up here. Oh, it's really pretty. You go into Morrison and then you just keep going up that road past Morrison and it is super twisty and windy. If I had a motorcycle, whoo, that would be like, mm, that would be some awesome motorcycle riding. Uh, but I'm just going to be quiet now and if I want to talk again, I'll talk again a little bit. Let's keep on hauling up this little trail and see what it has to offer. Let's keep on trucking. So we're just about at the top, and I just saw this little trail. As you can see, it just came off the path. Huh? Yeah, I'll go over here, and a couple rocks exposed you can sit on. It's kind of nice. It's not all covered in snow, so you can actually sit for a second. But look at that. Blue sky. About 55, 60 degrees on a hike. As you can see, I had to lighten up a little bit. I was getting pretty warm, climbing up, so that's going to happen. You're hiking. And yeah, just... Enjoying, enjoying the hike so far, but yeah, just stopped to appreciate the view and everything else. So, yeah, so far so good. This hike's really pretty. It's just a nice little walk through the woods. Um, so I guess we're we're pretty close to the end here uh, of to getting to the top. So we'll get to the top, and I think it overlooks Independence Mountain, which is that way, or I think it's that mountain right there. Maybe I think. But yeah, we uh, go to the top here, and you can kind of overlook this whole area, which should be cool. 
and then we'll head back down and hopefully a second hike today um there's a little town i probably want to hit up north a little bit maybe that other hike down a ways will clear out a little better um because it was they were parking like two three deep in that little parking lot that's i yeah i'm just let's just enjoy the day enjoy the hike and let's get to the top I'll talk again a little bit So I'm making my way around town walking past because I think I'm homebound and going down this slick trail here. It's a little steep for trying to talk and walk and it being icy. So, okay, a little flat here. It was a little breezy up at the top. So I'm going to be talking here where it's not breezy. A lot of time when you get to the tops of these mountains here, it's, you usually have a nice little wind going, but it was beautiful. That was an awesome overlook. I didn't think uh, you'd be able to see Denver today because we kind of have some snowstorms coming in and I think it's coming from that direction, but you can still kind of see it. But out towards the Rockies, looking more into the Rockies, I should say. Oh yeah, it was great. And you could see Mount Evans to the left of the mountain there. Man, that was a, that was a way better overlook than I was expecting. For this hike isn't as popular on my app it looks like as some of the others in this area. I don't know why, because that overlook was awesome. So I would recommend it, definitely recommend it. Cause overall this hike, like I said before, isn't super long. It's only a little over two miles. You'll see the hike stats in the description or if I put in, remember to put it in a video, I will. So we are sliding our way down this mountain, getting ready to do probably a second one a little later on today. I, there's a little town uh, north of here that I want to hit. I think it's Evergreen, but I just I just want to check it out because I don't really have a big town trip planned for it and I'm up in the area, so I'm just going to go there and just do a quick little mosey around. I might attach it to the end of this just, just because. Um, but yeah, it's been cool uh, exploring this hike here and you can't complain. Another beautiful day, another beautiful hike. And I don't mind like coming in the area during the cold too when there's all this snow, it's a different feel and view. So probably in about a minute, minute and a half of video, we'll be back down to the car. Like I said, there's a, another half, uh, we only did half the loop coming up. So I'm gonna do the other half loop going down. So it's gonna be a little longer to get to the car just cause it's not straight up out and back. Cause so there's a little more to see and do. So it'll be a little longer to get to the car this time than normal since it is a loop, that's fine. You can hear, you can hear the wind right above our heads. Oh, there it is. All right, we'll see you uh, on the next hike. And like I said, I, I might do a little bit of uh, evergreen in here if I go up there and check it out for a little bit. Might as well. So, see you on the next one.
that's where we came from that's where we're going in the south loop let's keep her rolling i don't know how much foot is actually going to get here because it has been a slick ride down i don't think it's maybe not as steep on the second portion but we'll see we'll see it's a little steep here so let's hold on to the camera and just give it a good old one two slide Ooh. sliding sliding Ooh, cruising hopefully you can stop there we go huh. beautiful day though this is great got a Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna put this camera down before I drop it and hit it into something. Whoa! Gotta go sideways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's slow down. Well, it was well worth stopping up here while you're close by. <clears throat> I almost maybe should have done a town trip here. Eh, maybe not. But no, I, this place is really cool. There, that saloon clip is awesome. It's you can like feel the history when you walk in there because everything's like etched into the wood of all the people's names and everybody who's been there and there's just memorabilia all over the place it's just signed by different people who played there and everything else and you can just feel it's old like going up to those rafter overlooks and like overlooking that band that was playing oh man that was cool i want to def i definitely want to find myself back here again that's it's well worth stopping by here especially even some of the shops because all these like little buildings have probably been here forever and you can just tell when you go inside uh, the one cafe right in the back end of the room you can see the building is literally built around this big rock probably because they couldn't remove it so they just had to build around it but yeah it's well worth just looking around here if you especially if you do a hike it's like 10 minutes down the road so now we'll officially end that hike see you on the next one